Okay, I'm going to have Shabbos, everyone. Welcome. As we learn the Mishnah Yom is for Erev Shabbos, Pashas Ekev, and we are sponsored by the Fisher family, Lila Nishmas, Basya Bas Robert, Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi, Peru Bas Ruvain, and Neshama Shadav and Aliyah. We also learn Lila Nishmas Chasi Bas Shlomo, Lufu Shlemi for Eliyah, Moshe Ben Chayasara, and the Schus of Avram Ben Yom and Benish Ben Malki Yehudis and family. We learn by your sponsored by your Klugman and family, and for my Shver, Avigdor Aryeh ben Rivka, he should have a Rafu Shalema Besek Sharchari Yisrael. The Mishnah tells us, If you need fuel, you can't remove wood from a hut. That is, of course, an Isra of Saiser of demolishing. If you have some wood near the hut, you, of course, could use that. You could bring wood from the field if it was gathered up. If it was in the, the field, you could take it if it was gathered beforehand. But if it's from a locked enclosure, then you could do it even if it's scattered, because if it's in a locked enclosure, then it was ready prepared for use. What do we mean in enclosure? Culture is If it's within the Ibura Shal Ir, which is within 70 and two thirds Amas from the city, Diver Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yaisi, I'm a culture, Nich Nasan like the Pesachas. Rabbi Yaisi says, if you need a key to get in, then I feel it was certain Shabbos, even if it's within 2,000 Amas of the city, you could use it. If it's, however, an area that's not under lock and key, then you could use it if it's within 70 and two thirds Amas. Ein mevakin ain't sim loimen akiris. You can't chop wood from beams, because those beams which are used for construction are muksa machmas chasor and kiss, and therefore they're not allowed to be used for yomtiv. V'leimin akirish in nishbar v'yomtiv. And nor from a beam that breaks from the ceiling on yomtiv, because even though now you're not going to use it anymore, but it, at the onset it was muksa because it was part of the structure. And migud is katsai bein hashmashas, it's katsai l'kula yoma. Vein mavakin, when you do chop wood, loy bekadim, you can't use an axe, v'loy bemegeira, nor a saw, v'loy bemagel, nor a sickle, because this is too much of a weekday activity. However, you could use, ela bekaifetz, you could use a cleaver that you use, uh, which is not a carpenter's tool. Bayeshu mole peris, a house that's full of fruit, sosem v'nifchas, if it was closed up with bricks, now the bricks weren't cemented, but it was shut up by bricks to keep it preserved, and the bricks uh, opened on uh, Shabbos, some bricks fell out, you could take from the place where the bricks fell, where the bricks were breached. You can't, however, open it uh, uh, during Shabbos, because even though they weren't cemented, it's mirze like saiser. Since that's only an Isidur Abonan to take the bricks that weren't cemented and it's needed for Eichel Nefesh on Yom Tov, you're allowed to do it. We want to thank you for joining us. Again, remind you that if you would like to sponsor this week's Shir on A718-916-3100, rmmwsi at aol.com. We also want to remind you that Matsu Shabbos, Dafa Yomi will be at 1035 at zoomdaf.com. Uh, the, throughout the week, except for Tuesday night, it's at 8.35. Tuesday night, we have a live shear in Irgun Shire Tyro, where we have a privilege to have a Q&A at the Irgun at 9 p.m. at uh, Avenue J and East 28th. Uh, we will announce when we will make up that daf of Tuesday night. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, and have a wonderful Shabbos.